Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for, yeah, this is a really big occasion for Ninjago. Obviously, I'm talking about the 10th anniversary or 10th birthday. As of today, Ninjago is officially 10 years old. The first pilot episodes premiered exactly a decade ago from today, which is insane for many reasons, obviously. But today, I just wanted to congratulate Ninjago on this commendable achievement. And I guess, yeah, just talk about Ninjago's 10th anniversary. So I want to talk about my own experience with the show. So I'm not a day one fan, but I am a year two fan, I guess you could say. At the time, back in 2012, I had, I still have some friends who were into Ninjago back then. And they got me into the show and sets as well. I was also, and obviously still am, a big Lego fan. And I started watching the show at season two. My first episode ever that I watched was Snake Bit, episode three of Ninjago. And since then, I've been into the series, yeah, for basically nine years now. Ten years is obviously a big milestone for any show. But you have to consider Ninjago, first of all, is a kid's show. But also, this show only exists for the purpose of selling toys, basically. But Ninjago has become something far more to so many people. It's become a show that is really connected to many fans. And I think that's really because of the brilliance of the creators. The characters, the story, all of them are really incredible. All of the various aspects of this show. And I think the reason Ninjago is still around today proves two things. First of all, it proves, as I just said, how great the actual show is, but also it proves how much the community loves this show. Without such a supportive community, I don't think Ninjago would still be around. Also, I think another really great thing about Ninjago is the ability it has to appeal to so many different groups. Obviously, not just kids, but also adults even, and teenagers make up the large majority of the social media group. But yeah, I mean, Ninjago, it may be a kid's show, but don't let that convince you that this is just for kids. This is a show that teenagers and, again, even adults can really enjoy. And let's be clear, not all of Ninjago's great. This show has had its ups and downs, its good seasons and bad seasons, but that's okay. Every show has this, but, you know, I think Ninjago overall, as a whole, is a really good show. And this show has been through so much change, design changes, uh, what else? Animation, tone and the format, but at the end of the day, I think Ninjago has largely retained its identity. There have been times when the show's identity has seemed to have been at a crossroads, uh, most notably season eight and season 11. But I think at the end of the day, for me, this is still mainly the Ninjago I knew and loved when I was younger. And, you know, we ask ourselves every year, is this the year Ninjago is going to end? And every year we find ourselves, we find the answer is no, this is not the year. I think finally we're coming to an answer. Ninjago isn't going to end anytime soon. Who knows, maybe in 10 years we could be back here again to celebrate the 20th anniversary. Today also we remember Kirby Morrow, the voice actor of Cole who passed away last year. And his work on Ninjago and his life will never be forgotten. Today is a day to celebrate the 10th anniversary but I think we also have to remember Kirby. And it is very unfortunate that he wasn't here to see this incredible occasion for Ninjago. So I wanna end off this video thanking everyone who made this show great and got it to where it is today. So first off, the producer of Ninjago, Tommy Andresen. So he is one of the creators of this show and he has done so much for it. Also, he interacts with fans a lot on Twitter, which is really great. Also, the Hagman brothers who really are responsible for making the characters great. They are the reason why Ninjago's story and characters are so awesome. Also, Braggy Shoot, who is the current writer of Ninjago. And, you know, season 10 and 11 were rough, undeniably. But I think he's a good writer. He's a really good writer, especially with stuff like seasons 8, 9, season 13, season 12, in my opinion, at least. Next up, the voice actors. The voice actors of Ninjago are responsible for bringing the soul and life to these characters. And I think definitely their performances and the emotion in their voices, that's something that really connects with fans. And lastly, very underappreciated people, the composers of Ninjago, their music, and I really mean this, it's one of the best TV scores that I've ever heard. It has the ability to bring out so many different emotions, triumph, sadness, suspense, you name it. Again, these guys are super underappreciated, so huge shout out to them. And really anyone else who works on Ninjago, all the unsung heroes, 
the people at Lego who make the sets, the set designers, of course, and the animators at Wild Brain and Will Film. All of them are responsible for, you know, making this show great and their work on the show, I think definitely something that we have to appreciate. So huge thanks to everyone who works on the show and everything they do. And yeah, today's Ninjago's 10th anniversary and happy 10th anniversary to you guys. Ninja never quit. Thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know. Share your favorite Ninjago memories down below and I will see you guys next time.